Hi, for this video we're going to solve a system of equations by graphing and the solution is simply the intersection point of the two lines. If the lines do not intersect then there are no solutions. If the lines happen to be the same line then you have an infinite number of solutions. So for this particular example, this one is not already in slope intercept form, the y equals mx plus b form that is the easiest to graph from. So the first thing that we want to do is solve each of these equations for y. So I'm just going to kind of move to the right. The first thing that I want to do is move the x to the other side. So when I move the x to the other side, remember that any time it changes sides of the equation, it changes the sign also. So this would become negative x minus 2. And my graph is still not completely by itself because remember that we want y completely alone. So what we would have to do is divide everything by positive 2. And when I do that, I end up with y equals negative one-half x minus one. So that's our first equation that we're going to graph. So let's go ahead and graph this one. So we would start at negative one and our slope, because it's negative, that tells me we have to go one negative direction and one positive direction. So I'm going to go down one and over two. I could continue in this manner going down one or over two um, just to kind of make it straighter. I can also go the other direction. I could have gone up one and back two. That would have given me the same thing. Um, sometimes with this, having more points just makes your line a little bit straighter. Uh, you can also use a straight edge to help you make it even more straight. Um, so now we have to do the same thing for the second equation. So we want to solve for y on the second equation. So to do that, I would first move the 3x to the other side. So we would have 2y equals negative 3x plus 2. And to get this completely by itself, I would then divide everything by positive 2. And we have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1. So remember with this, we always start at this number here, so I forgot to kind of point that out, but you always start at the number that's by itself on the y-axis. So remember, a y-axis is always this one. So we would go to positive 1, and this time our slope tells us to go down 3, 1, 2, sorry, 1, 2, 3, and then turn and go right 2. So we can see that the intersection point is here. Um, I could continue going down 3 and right 2 to find another point just to kind of help the line be straighter. I could have also gone up 3 and back 2. Um, you really only need 2 points. Sorry, I'm kind of missing. Um, you only need 2 points, but the more you have, the straighter your line is. It's really hard for me to draw straight with this because I can't turn my paper. Um, so with this, we can see that the intersection point is this point right here. They both intersected at the same point, and so that one happens to be over 2, down 2. So our intersection point would be 2, comma, negative 2. Remember that in an ordered pair, it's always x, comma, y. So um, just remember that you always put your x coordinate first. So x, we went right 2 and then y we went down to. So this would be the solution to these two equations. That's the intersection point. Um, if you want to take a few seconds just to check it to make sure that you did do it correctly, um, that way you know that you got the answer correct. So all you would have to do to check is replace your x with the 2. And then we would replace our y with the negative 2. So I would put in a negative 2. And then we would just simply see, is this a true statement? So with this, we end up with 2 minus 4, which does equal negative 2. So we can see that that works. It has to work in both equations. It can't just work in one of the equations. So we would check the other one by replacing the x with 2. And then we would replace the y with the negative 2. And we want to see if we end up with a true statement. So we end up with 6 plus, this would be negative 4 equals 2, or we could have said 6 minus 4, which is true. So we can see that our solution is correct. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.